Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day and today I want to talk to you about the brand new champion in Paladins, Drogos. He's a new rocket launcher, uh, rocket jetpack wearing dragon, which is a uh, pretty unusual tech for uh, one of the ancient ones I would say, but uh, he is a fun character, the brand new character in Paladins and uh, definitely bringing a punch, packing a punch, so to speak. Yeah, he's got an ultimate that does a hundred percent of the target's maximum health. That means a one hit KO for most people, unless they have a shield or some type of damage mitigation. And it is pretty ridiculous uh, when you see it in action. It is literally one punch, man. It's called Dragon Punch, but I think more like Falcon Punch, or like I said, one punch, man, up in here. It is pretty crazy. So I can't wait to show you that. And this is the survival game mode. Now, a lot of you guys know I play Payload. And I enjoy it a lot. I really love Payload. It's actually one of my favorite modes. So uh, why am I not playing it? Well, it's because I res removed it during this patch, CB23, and it's kind of blown me away. I have no idea why that is the case. Uh, I I didn't get any explanation about it. I was trying to find out. I found a lot of people complaining about it, but I really didn't understand the adjustment. It was one of the things I really loved about Paladins in this last little bit because it was short, snackable entertainment. I could guarantee I'd get a game in within eight minutes. As you see, I empty my salvo there with my Q. What it does is just stores all of my rocket launchers in one basically barrage attack that takes a while to load up and also takes a while to recover from but when you fire it it loses accuracy but it does a huge burst of damage in an area so if you get above a bunch of people and just use your salvo into a bunch of areas as we take out Dustin over there uh, into just one targeted area you'll be able to really dominate people I find Drogos is really good at uh, dominating points at really spacing people out with his expectorate his little loogie right there and hitting a rocket launcher onto that which will actually allow expectorate to explode and uh, as you see the fog here creeping in from survival I'm actually on the edge so I'm trying to make it towards the center looks like we will have an opportunity and I get up into the air and this is a good thing for me I empty my salvo I do die but barrack is enough it seems like to help us win this round although I did not get it that is one of the examples of how you know he can have a lot of point presence and again, let's get back to uh, really just talking about how I was very upset to find that Payload was not in this map. I don't really understand, and I think high res should do well in keeping modes that give short, snackable ways for people who are busy to keep enjoying their game and stay connected. You might have just eliminated a lot of people who have other priorities with games, such as myself with Smite, and can't spend as much time on Paladins as they would like to, and also other people who are just busy, want to game for a little bit, maybe have some time and know you have a new character out, but can't spend 30 minutes playing a game. And so those people aren't going to be able to try out Drogos. They're not going to be able to be around as Ying comes over here. And uh, I'm trying to throw some damage onto her. I got to reload and I jump on my mount, which is not my ideal situation. I really didn't mean to do that. And uh, I found myself being a little bit uh, uncomfortable at some of the mechanics of Drogos. I'm trying to hit my Lugi and I cannot. And the confusion comes out from Ying, a very valuable uh, uh, ultimate right there. She can teleport to any of these and really good point control, especially at this early point of the map. And so we're actually getting pushed out. The fog is coming in. I'm dying as a result of that. And uh, Ying actually takes me down. That confusion was really strong. And she followed it up with a couple of nice attacks. It looks like they went through the walls though uh but hey she got the kill so uh we do end up winning the round and if you guys haven't noticed uh in survival the game mode fog goes through the entire map if you look on the map in your top right corner you'll see the fog slowly moving in towards the point and as the game goes, uh, you are trying to eliminate the other team's characters, but if you stand in the fog, it eliminates your health very rapidly. So you cannot do it. Basically, it moves people closer and closer together. You can fight towards the outskirts of the mode for a while, and then you have to then obviously come back towards the center. As you see, I eliminate there with a great salvo up in the air, get a lot of range, and that's one of Drogo's greatest things. As you see, I also get uh, a shot onto the pip, taking him out and uh actually I think exploding with my expectorate his ultimate does come up he might have just bumped and here's my ultimate guys dragon punch there it is and look at that nasty girl 69 goes down and our round is one why the fog didn't get us rain day what's going on it's because if you eliminate everyone it's basically a death match but with fog forcing a certain amount of time so uh pretty much if you kill everyone then the game's over 
And the thing is, this is a good substitute for me because, yes, okay, uh, there's a certain amount of time it takes for the fog to get there. It's kind of allotted that that's going to be the case. But the thing that can be make this long is that if I win three rounds and then they win three rounds, then I went around, they went around, I went around. I mean, that could be nine rounds of this that we play, and that's quite a lot of time. I mean, it's definitely more than the six to eight minute max games that Payload used to be. And so I find myself still really missing that new mode, uh, and uh, I hope they bring it back. I really do. Obviously. Obviously, it's their game. They can choose what to do, but I think it's great to obviously give people who enjoy your game an opportunity to enjoy it at the at the level, at the time frame that they feel uh, they're able to. Like I mentioned with Smite, I wouldn't be playing Smite if it wasn't for Arena because of the time constraints. I jump up here and get some damage onto Ying, and uh, actually, I'm hitting her, and she's locked in the corner, so she's going to be going down as well. Doggy Bones takes the kill, uh, takes the death, and uh, Androxus is over here trying to charge up, but it's not enough. I get some aerial height there, and I take him out, and again, the round is won. Now, now, with Drogo's, you can see he's very good at obviously uh, doing some splash damage. His, his gun hits quite a lot. It's a slower firing gun, and the uh, propulsion of it is rather slower as well. So not only will it reload and cock and aim slower, it will uh, fire slower. So you're going to have much more range closer, and when you're trying to get above people and splashing down onto them, than if you're trying to hit somebody from long range like Cassie or Tanessa, you're going to lose a lot of accuracy there. It's going to be a lot harder to do it. Now, Expectorate is his loogie. He spits out that little ball, and what happens if it lands on someone, you do additional damage to them. But if you explode your Expectorate, as the Sawbow there really ruins Pip, and I'm confused, and again, this Ying just dominates the same map she got this ultimate again. I don't know whether it's just luck, but I'm forced out because it's doing too much damage. I'm confused. I don't know who's my teammates, who are my enemies, and uh, I'm in trouble here. I've only got 360 health. I can't get out. I tried to thrust away, and that's the case. But uh, it looks like we are not going to win this round. So they do get a round off of, off of us, and uh, hopefully we don't have to turn this around. I would love to just finish this up quickly. Um, but uh, if you hit the Expectorate, it will knock people back in the area. You could build cards around Expectorate. Um, I'm actually using the deck right now that does do that. And it, it also it me will make that knockback a lot bigger. So you can use it, spit your Lugie down, the Expectorate, and hit it with one of your rockets. And that will blow people back off the point. Um, another thing I've bun uh, done a lot is you use your boost, which can be used with Space where He's got a passive like rocket launcher, right? So he's he can kind of get himself a passive jetpack boost up. It's not very big, but it's a passive. And But his F will launch him very far up and his, his space bar if you keep it with F in tandem will keep him up for quite a while in that area as we're just going ahead and doing it I don't get the damage onto the expectorate I literally haven't hit it once this game so I'm a little sad that that's not the case I haven't been able to show you guys that too well but again it's still pretty cool and uh, you get the gist of what it is my ultimate is up now I go into the bushes I am hidden and I want to use it onto that yang I'm heading over and bam one punch and it's all over I hit the expectorate but it doesn't matter the pip is the only one left. I want to get some area damage, but I'm reloading still. Quite a long reload time. I'm going onto the pip. We got some splash damage, and we win the game. Now, survival is a pretty fun mode. I enjoy it a lot. I really do. But again, having payload be gone is, to me, a little, uh... I don't know. It felt like a little bit of a slap in the face, considering that was the mode I really enjoyed. Now, obviously... Drogos is a really cool character and really fun, and if you like the quicker game mode, Survival may be the one for you to really take a look at his kit. Uh, like I mentioned, he's got the Salvo as his Q, which loads all of his current rockets that he has available. So if you have three, if you shot two, you have three, it will load those three into your Salvo, and it will shoot it all at once with less accuracy. Um, but very good if you're raining uh, from above, shooting down those missiles, using your thrust, and then maybe using your space bar, uh, extra, your little extra thrust, which... Um, basically resets and, and has a little bit of a cooldown once you use it all. Yeah, give it some time to reset, kind of like a shield in most games. That thruster will come back up slowly and you'll be able to use it again. Doesn't take you very long, but it does give you a little bit of an advantage and definitely give you some more mobility in the air after you hit your F, which is your big thrust up into the air. Drogo's a great character, a lot of fun. Uh, people are saying that his, his ultimate is a little bit bottom tier right now, especially if people know how to use it because they can build towards mitigating that damage, and if it's not going to kill somebody in one punch, not only is it hard to aim, hard to launch up, it definitely seems to expose him quite a bit, uh, making him unable to do anything else at that point, and of course, it's a single target killer. So if you can't kill that single target, pretty much wasted there. So um, I definitely think that he's going to 
bring some great uh, point pressure, some great explosions with the expect rate. You didn't see it there, but what happens if you hit the Lugie, you hit the rocket launcher, obviously it knocks people back. I think he's going to be a really fun character. Personally, I'm excited to play him more, and let me know if you guys are still enjoying all of this Paladin's gameplay. I'm definitely looking into Paladin's a lot more, considering the qualifiers are coming up and uh, the um, ability to, to potentially go to DreamHack for a couple of these teams and win $100,000 is going to bring Paladin's, in my opinion, a lot of exposure in these next couple of months. So it's a game I want to keep in touch with. I think it game you guys should keep in touch with as well and hopefully you do so by watching some of the videos I post on the channel. Probably be maybe once every week we'll do a Paladins video checking out the new characters and maybe some adjustments that they make. Probably every patch we might have one video or so. Still majority smite but uh, want to keep this uh, consistent and you know just up to date with the changes that they're making so if you guys want to hop on you definitely can. Thanks so much for watching guys and of course my name is Rain Day. If you want to leave a like, share and subscribe to my channel that'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this wonderful community. That's it for me today, and as always, remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.